Welcome back. The new Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Mr. Abubakar Malami, SAN, hails from Kebi State. He studied at the Usman Danfodio University in Sokoto before proceeding to the law school in 1992. He was conferred with the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria in 2008 and was the former National Legal Advisor of the defunct political party, Congress for Progressive Change, CPC. Now, as part of setting an agenda for the new AGF, Law Weekly spoke to some senior legal practitioners. Attorney General occupies a very sensitive and important uh, position uh, in the sense that the very essence of the state is the rule of law and the dispensation of justice. I mean, at a level, you can say that the problem that we have as a country is in fact a rule of law issue. And therefore, in consonance with the change agenda, I would expect that this Attorney General would take uh, the uh, legal system reform holistically um, as, as a challenge uh, and to tackle it, but to ensure that we have a legal framework that underpins a modern society. At the moment, uh, if you were to speak with maybe certain legal scholars, they tell you that the legal system we, ha we have is the one we inherited from the colonial government. You know, and in a sense, it's become inadequate for where we want to go as a country. So I'd expect that the law, chief law officer of the nation would lead the process of uh, totally reforming the legal system of Nigeria. In the choice of uh, Mr. Malami, SAN, uh, the president has, uh, uh, has picked the right man. Uh, I believe it's uh, 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 a well-considered uh, appointment. Uh, there is no doubt that the man is faced with many challenges. The main one, the way I see it, should be the issue of administration of justice. That has always been the problem, and I think uh, that hasn't changed much. He needs to address uh, several issues. Uh, perception of justice is very, very important. And uh, over the years, I believe that perception has been uh, substantially eroded. Public confidence in the system has, uh, has waned. Respect for judges uh, has waned as well, witness with the recent uh, uh, CTC, uh, CCT debacle. So these are issues that he'll need to uh, really sit down, articulate a policy, and uh, you know, try and uh, find resolutions. It's very, very crucial. You should work aggressively with the National Judicial Council, with the Nigeria Bar Association, and all the stakeholders of that industry. We want to see more courts so that um, more judges are appointed. We want to see that the rules, the, the rules of practice are audited and changed and overhauled altogether so as to foster speed in the administration of justice because that is the key thing that people complain about. If you start an action today, it takes three years, four years, both at the High Court before you now go to the Court of Appeal, before you now go to the Supreme Court. So we need quick dispensation of justice. We need new judges, we need new courts, more judges, more courts, and an overhaul of the system. Almost every law we have in Nigeria can still do with some tinkering. There's a lot of laws to be made in Nigeria to bring us at par with other developing countries of the world or more, more um, importantly, the developed economies of the world. We need to be in tandem with them at all times. So I expect that there should be a lot of legislation to you know, fill in all those gaps. <laughs> 